Mama. Daddy. Christy. Oh, Daddy. Is this a new service the hospital is providing? I told you to guard the door. I had a code blue. I had parents walk in. We saved the guy's life. Yeah, whatever. You know, I want my 20 bucks back. Sorry. Bought everyone coffee to celebrate saving the guy's life. Now, I want my 20 bucks back. It's not Tyler's fault you're a dirty, dirty stripper. Um, Dr. Bailey? Surgeon, stop saying, um, O'Malley, you want to be a surgeon, learn to speak like one. Do you have any questions for me? Is that blonde your girlfriend? Because the way you keep looking at her, you might as well just mount her right here and now. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Was that rude? I'm proud of you all. You make me proud. You reflect on me well. Gray, if you think you can keep your clothes on long enough to follow up the labs, I'd appreciate it. Karev, cover the pit. The pit? I'm, I'm off Gaini. Dr. Montgomery Shepard is out sick. You can cover the pit, or you can... You can tell me whose damn panties are on the bulletin board. <laughs> this is a hospital, people. Serious work happens here. We save lives here. <coughs> oh, something funny? Oh. Whose are these? <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Hey, you better claim them. <laughs> she thinks they're mine. Claim them. No. Yeah, I know it's one of you. It's always one of mine, always. So, tell me, which one of you left your damn drawers on my surgical floor? <laughs> oh, no, did I leave my underwear lying around again? I am so sorry, Bailey. It's, uh, it's my bad. Do not make me regret setting you loose in this hospital, O'Malley. What do I mean by that? You mean to check with you before we cut any wires or steal any hearts? Are you trying to be clever? No, ma'am. Better not be. Nazis definitely back. Louder than ever. Oh, Mrs. Burke. Hi, I'm Christina. I, I, I may have said that earlier, but... Did I, was, I hear um... you refer to Miranda Bailey as a Nazi? What? Oh, no. Oh, uh, I mean, yes, You but do it... understand that the Nazis were responsible for the worst genocide in the history of man. And a racist genocide at that. I would think that as a woman of color and as a doctor, no less, that you would think twice before using that word as a punchline. I'll think about that in the future, Mrs. Burke. Uh, uh, Dr. Gray is very busy. She has charts to do for Bailey. Bailey's on the warpath. Well, uh, not the German warpath. It's a hospital workout. It's so you and O'Malley, huh? How'd that happen? I don't know. You're a surgeon. How'd that happen? Karev, she's a resident. She outranks you. You don't get to ask personal questions. It's fine, Dr. Bell. He's my intern. I say it's not fine. Are we clear? No. What's not clear? What's not clear? We've got a fever, high white count, and tenderness over McBurney's point, which suggests oh, appendicitis. appendicitis. Dr. O'Malley, prep Dr. Gray for surgery. You're scrubbing in. I am? Meredith's appendectomy? I, uh, am I the only one who remembers the last time George scrubbed in on an appendectomy? He almost killed the guy. Sorry, George. I don't have to scrub in, Dr. Bailey. I can just, uh, unless you want me to, which, which no, not gonna happen again. They're good enough for you, Dr. Gray? You're pretty. The Dirty Mistresses Club has rules. Gosh, you'd think a bunch of dirty mistresses would be a little less uptight about things like rules. Number one, no flirting. Second, no talking about Derek. And C, no giving me the face. The face? The McSteamy face. Doesn't work on me, I'm immune. You know, if I'd gone off to the woods, I would have invited you to keep me warm. Breaking rules, one, two, and three. There you are. Would you go all the way to New York for my pastrami? Extra spicy, extra lettuce, light of mayo. Mark, what are you doing? Lunch. Want my pickle? Seattle Grace is a teaching hospital. Part of your job is to teach. Your interns aren't your slaves. Fine. No pickle for you. Did you see that? Hmm? Sloan, he's using his interns to pick up his dry cleaning. And his lunch. What is wrong with everyone today? Hey, Callie. 
I was going to come and find you. What did you want to talk to me about? Panties? Uh, Kelly, what you up to? I'm going to kick Meredith's ass right now. Oh, I kept me. your secrets. I was discreet. I was a really good friend to you, and I didn't have to be. And then you go and do this? Do what? Hey, Kelly, Kelly. use your words. Use your words, Kelly. Panties, Meredith. I'm talking about the McFrickin' Code of Silence pair of panties I pulled off the bulletin board. Not to mention the adulterous McSex I witnessed. Hey, you remember hey, that? Hey, hey, what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but she's very little and you're hurting her. You told George my night with McSteamy was not yours to share. That's what this is about, your sex with McSteamy? You told Izzy. No, no! Kelly, you told me you slept with someone. You never said it was Sloan. George told me it was Sloan. George? George told you. Who told George? Maybe perhaps the guy you slept with? Dude, she ran a cage fighter on you. No. Stare him down. Stare him down. <laughs> My day's impossible. I'll come by for a console in the morning. I'm a good stare. Do you like seconds? Oh, no. I'm great. This is great. Uh, but maybe Christina would like some. Christina, would you like some? I only made enough for three. This isn't at all awkward. You know, we can go, and, and you two can talk. Oh, we're talking. We're talking. To each other. You're enjoying your meal at the International House of Silence? Burke, you have to feed Christina. She doesn't cook, and she will starve to death. I have cereal. You two live together. Someone has to be the first to speak. This is insane. I am giving a, a dinner party. If she wants to sit there, she can sit there. Let's just enjoy our evening and talk about something else. I heard a crazy rumor today from one of the scrub nurses that Richard was retiring. Mm, that's an interesting rumor. What? It's true. Richard's going to name a new chief of surgery. He asked Burke. But Burke took himself out of the running, which apparently is my fault for being a part of the team. Oh, thank God you're here. I can't take it anymore. Three times already tonight, and he's getting ready for a fourth. What are you talking about? Oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, you know, when I'd get it, I'd be crying or depressed. I know, I know. We all deal in different ways, but this is not grieving. This is my legs being bent in ways my legs do not go. And I know, I know his dad died. I get it. I feel horrible for him, but if this keeps up pretty soon, we'll be having a funeral for my vagina. Okay. I'm going to give you guys some privacy. I'll no, go no, far, no, far away. No, no, you stay. You take over. Okay. Kelly Torres. No, I, not like that. I, I am giving him to you. You are now officially on George Watch 2007. Okay, you are his friend. Yay. And I need a break. I need to heal. No, I need to heal. No, I what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? No, Kelly. He's taking you so. You know, it seems really very fast. Are you, are you even happy? We're incredibly happy. Oh, yay. Well, great. Oh. Yay. Show her the ring. Oh. Oh, that's so great. Tiny diamonds are great because you know no one will ever try to steal it. Oh. Okay, that's it. Yang, Burke needs you in cardio. O'Malley, the chief has a surgical patient coming into the pit. Stevens, Karev, go find me some patients. I don't care where you get them, just get them. They are spoiled, judgmental little children. Don't let them get to you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. What's different? Nothing. Leave him be. What happened to your hair? Nothing. Mm -hmm. What happened to your hair? <clears throat> Leave him be. He dyed it. But why? Leave him be. What? Okay, but why? Men who have gray hair are noticed less than men who don't. By who? 
Mm. Well, by the ladies? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Looks good, Chief. Uh, oh, very natural. Ladies will love it. He is alone. All alone. Do any of you even know what that's like? Lives with Christina, dates the perfect 12-year-old man whore. His wife left him after 25 years of marriage. So if the man wants to dye his hair for the ladies, let him dye his hair for the ladies. Leave him be. How are you doing tonight? I don't want to go home and find Alexander. It's just the two of us, you know, weird and awkward, and he doesn't know whether he should talk to me or not talk to me. It's just such an awkward situation. I'd rather it be group awkward next to him. I don't want to just be standing there staring at him. Meredith? Hey, have you seen Montgomery? No. Hey, what you doing tonight? You want to come over? You and I never really get a chance to hang out and... Might be kind of fun. Alex just moved in, which was Meredith's brilliant idea, and he still has a thing for me, so it's... What the hell? I need to talk to you. Why? Uh, to prepare you guys for what you're about to see. You meant, you you meant you like us, not like me. You don't you don't want to talk to me. You want you want to talk to us about a patient. About a patient. That's what I just said. Sex last night with the wrong person. But the thing is, it didn't feel wrong at the time. It felt like something was falling into place. Mm. So what do I do? Mm. What am I, the go-to person for adultery? What's up with Izzy? D I told you, it's none of your concern. No, it is my concern. I demand a no. I hope I didn't just hear you say you demand. Uh, are you her father? Are you her husband? Then stay here and keep your mind on your job. You hear me? 